We are now presented with the current loop auto tuning portion of the wizard, which assists with configuring the PI gains of the field oriented control or FOC, which is also the current control loop. The FOC loop utilizes a cascaded control loop with other operating modes, such as speed and position modes, so its configuration is necessary. Please note the warnings on this page about the motor being free to move without any load and the motor movement and noise warning. Click next. We already have our amps limit and reference seek power set. We have two options at this point. If we don't know the inductance and resistance values of our motor, we can press start to run the auto motor characterization. This procedure will estimate the motor resistance and inductance, essential parameters for the FOC PI tuning. If we do know the parameters, we can click the manual entry bubble and then insert the values. Please note that when inserting the values manually, you should refer to the phase and not phase-to-phase -phase measurements of the inductance and resistance. If the phase-to-phase -phase measurement are provided, divide them by two. Pay attention to the units as the utility uses milliohm and microhenry. You should always prefer the manual entry option if the data sheet values are available. For this demonstration, we will use the auto motor characterization function by clicking start. The motor drive will supply the motor with alternating voltage and measure the current to estimate the motor specifications. This will take some time. Once complete, click Next. Here you will be requested to select an FOC bandwidth. The FOC bandwidth determines the responsiveness of the current loop. We will start by selecting the slowest possible bandwidth of 50 Hz. This will not be the final setting, but we will use it to explore the impact of different bandwidth settings on the current response. At this point, we are locking our rotor using the motor's built-in electromechanical brakes to allow for an easier time applying the motor current. While this will provide an easier time with the graphing, it is not required and you will still get optimal results without locking the rotor. Click Next. On the next screen, we can configure an input waveform and monitor the current response of the motor. Some waveform settings are adjustable, such as the amplitude, period, and the number of repeats. Change the default period to 50 milliseconds to prevent the rotor from moving when applying the command. Avoiding movement of the rotor will allow the motor current to reach the target value easier. Also, in the graph settings, we can adjust the monitoring variables. For this tuning, we will go ahead and remove the motor power and encoder speed to facilitate easier monitoring of the motor current. Now click the Run Waveform button. The ramped command one represents a desired motor current, and the FOC torque amps one represent the motor current component that is responsible for the motor torque. The flux amps one is a motor current component that controls the magnetic flux in the motor and should be kept close to zero. The torque amp should follow the ramped command to provide tighter control. Observe how different current bandwidths improve the current response of which lower bandwidths have a lower current rise time. Avoid using bandwidths of the aggressive range as they will create more oscillations when the speed or position mode is used. Once the torque amps follow the ramp command in a fast and stable manner by adjusting the bandwidth, we can then click Next. As you can see, the torque amps are inverted compared to the ramp command. This is due to setting inverted earlier in the settings. On the next screen, we are presented with our summary of the parameters that were set during the process. Click Save and Next. We will then be prompted to follow the same process for Channel 2, which we will accept and perform. It should be noted the motor brake should be released to perform the motor characterization of Channel 2.
At this point, the motor brake is engaged to perform the FOC tuning.